There's carbon in every living thing. That includes trees and agricultural crops like switchgrass. The ability to convert carbon from wood and crops to liquid fuels, chemicals, and materials provides the foundation for a new bioeconomy. <laughs> and here's a place where that conversion starts. UT recently opened its new Center for Renewable Carbon. Here the goal is for wood and plants to replace petroleum fuels, curbing our dependence on foreign oil. But this is not just an ethanol lab. UT Ag researchers also want to develop other chemicals and industrial materials such as adhesives. Our interest is as much in alternative uh, materials and, and uh, chemicals as well as fuels and, and energy. They all have an impact. Dr. Tim Ryle says what will go on in these labs includes pre-processing treatments and research, the heavy lifting of biomass conversion. The new lab facility it is primarily directed at conversion to, to fuels and uh, as well as advanced materials. New laboratory space for uh, studying, um, number one, the chemical uh, composition of the biomass, which we need to understand better. Uh, the chemistry of converting that biomass to, to new compounds and new fuels. Lignin is a carbon byproduct generated from the production of biofuels. In the past, it's been burned as an energy source, but otherwise is just waste. Now CRC ag researchers believe lignin can be used in the manufacture of lighter cars, which will be more fuel efficient, and the production of new lightweight packaging materials all from a carbon source that used to be discarded. One key component of this center is the blend of UT experts working here. You have researchers in plant genetics, microbiology, chemistry, and ag economics, all working with bioenergy crops to produce fuels and possibly other industrial materials. And so this puts together a core group of people across different disciplines to tackle these problems, and that's where you'll get the most success. UT's Institute of Agriculture is teaming with a business partner, Perkin Elmer Incorporated, which provides support for some of the high-tech equipment here. That collaboration is something that industry needs to go forward more and to be competitive. We can't do it on our own, so the university research area is so important to us. UT leaders believe research at the CRC has enormous potential to enhance our lives in years ahead. And when it comes to new fuels and products, it's time for the past to give way to the future. This is Chuck Denny reporting.